God bless you. 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 Wow, wow, glory be to Jesus. What a great evening. We thank God so much for giving us this opportunity uh, just to have this service again. And I want just to thank God again for this platform. I believe up to date that um, it doesn't matter how gifted you are, if you don't have a platform, that gift will lose impact because every gift need a platform and i thank god for uh, reverend axon uh, the uh, father of this ministry and the founder of beatitude for giving me this opportunity to minister this evening i don't take him as is like my brother i take him as my prophet so i thank god for you man of god thank you for always creating a space for me to minister. Thank you. May God bless you together with your, with your family. Thank you, the Tid family, uh, for uh, receiving me. Um, I think I need now to have a membership in Beatitude because I think I have a share there. Uh, so, nimekuwa na nini tangu mlipo anza hudumahi na hadi leo hii tuko pamoja. Kwa na shukuru mungu kwa kuweza uh, kwa mini kwamba uh, mungu ameweka kitu ndani yangu because kuna watu wengi mungu ameweka vitu ndani yao lakini watu wameshindwa kuamini kwamba wana kitu ambacho mungu ameweka ndani yao so nimeshukuru sana uh, beatitude family kwa kunipokea na kuamini au uh, katika wito ambao nilionao na kunipea nafasi so nimeshukuru sana. Mungu mwambie Pastor Axon atumtaki tena huyo tumechoka kumuona huyo mtu mfupi kuliko wote. Nisingeliweza aonekana hapa tena. Lakini kwa sababu ya kunipenda uh, ni nipo hapa tena jioni hii ili tuweze kubarikiwa pamoja. Asante sana my brother Gile uh, kwa nyimbo hiyo ambayo umetuongoza nayo ya kuabudu kwamba ndio maana anaitwa Jehova. Jehovah is his name. Anaitwa Jehovah why because hajawahi poteza vita. Anaitwa Jehovah kwa sababu ya ujemedari wa vita. Anaitwa Jehovah kwa sababu yeye ndiye mtawala. Anaitwa Jehovah kwa sababu yeye ndiye upeana ushindi. Na ninaamini kwamba jioni ya leo Bwana anakupea ushindi kama Jehovah. Bwana anakupea ushindi kama Jehova. Anapea nchi hii ushindi. Anapea taifa hili ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asante Yesu. Am jioni hii ya leo tunapoanza program hii, tunapoanza kusoma neno lako, tunapolitafakari neno lako, tunaomba utuhudumie. Hudumia hii familia, hudumia hii boma, hudumia huyu mama, hudumia huyu baba hudumia huyu kijana hudumia huyu mtoto yeyote ambaye anafuatilia kipindi hiki wherever you are may the word of god minister to you may the word of god minister to you tonight in the name of jesus this is your night and i believe from today your life will never ever be the same again i say your life will never ever be the same again you are family will never ever be the same again your business will never ever be the same again your dreams will never ever be the same again in the name of Jesus it's a night of turning around I say it's a night of turning around in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father for tonight in Jesus mighty name I pray amen Amen. Amen. My name is Pastor Tumaini uh, from Voice of Hope. Uh, we are just here in Shokimao Estate. I'm married. And uh, I thank God for my, my wife. We have two uh, kids there, uh, great and a gift. So we thank God for that opportunity in God's kingdom. I want us to say something just shortly uh, 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 within the next uh, 25 minutes or that minute. 
then I will get away of you tonight, just for tonight. I want to talk about uh, asking God to revive us again. It's a prayer message. It's a prayer message of telling God, revive us again. Revive us again. Glory be to Jesus. And you need to understand what is revival. Before we talk about the impact and the work of revival and how to receive revival, we need to understand what is revival. Glory be to Jesus. Revival is a, is a sign or is an act or is to manifest something. Revival is to manifest something. I say revival is to manifest something. Glory be to Jesus. That is revival. What is manifestation? Manifestation is to reveal something oh God manifestation is to reveal something what is manifestation manifestation is to let something known hallelujah ni kufanya kitu ijulikane udhihirisho ni nini udhihirisho ni kufanya kitu kuonekana kitu ambayo haikuwa inaonekana kitu ambayo watu walifikiri ilipotea Kazi ya manifestation ni kufanya hiyo kitu kuonekana and i pray as you are starting this preaching tonight revival is your portion and manifestation is your portion i don't care for many for many years haujaonekana kwenye familia haujaonekana kwenye jamii haujaonekana Kenya but i pray my manifestation locate you I say manifestation locate your business, manifestation locate your family, manifestation locate your ministry, manifestation locate your dream. Arabo sharabahandaya. I say manifestation is your portion. This year 2020, lazima utadhihirishwa, lazima utaonekana in the name of Jesus. Chochote utagusa, hakita fichwa, hakita kaa chini ya ardhi. Hakita kosa kuonekana Kitakuwa kidongo Lakini kitaenea kila kona Kitaenda zaidi ya Kenya Kitaenda zaidi ya Afrika That is what we call manifestation Kana rabara bahanda ya Rima ria bosha tira bahanda ya That is manifestation Glory be to Jesus So manifestation Is to reveal something ni kudhihirisha kitu ambayo either watu walidharau mahali pale ribo sharabahanda ya wakati Yesu anazunguka alionekana kama kijana miongoni mwa vijana wengine wakiitwa small boys aliapia wakiitwa wale vijana wana struggle aliapia but the moment manifestation ilikuja in Matthew chapter 3 and the verse number 17 the bible says and a voice from heaven said this is my beloved son in him who I, in him i am well pleased Glory be to Jesus. The moment iyo sauti ilitoka heaven. Yesu kuitu a small boy. Ilishia hapo. Because when heaven speaks, other voices must shut up. I say when heaven speaks. Karabahanda ya. I say when heaven speaks. Ah, the voices must shut up. Mbingu ikiongea, sauti ya corona inanyamaza. Mbingu ikiongea, sauti ya cancer inanyamaza. Mbingu ikiongea, sauti ya umaskini inanyamaza. Mbingu ikiongea, listen to me. Jesus was 30 years old. Alikuwa miaka 30. Watu wakimujua kama seremala. Wakimujua kama yule kijana carpenter. But after this voice but ade ambingu kuongea kwamba this is my son karabahanda ya that was the end of jesus to be called carpenter 
that was the end because when heaven speaks kuna kazi hauwezi fanya tena when heaven speaks kuna vitu za aibu huwezi pitia tena because mpingu imeongea glory be to jesus so what we are talking about we are talking about the revival we are telling god revive us again and i was talking about what is a revival and i was talking about point number one. point number one revival is to what is revival revival is to reveal is, is uh, sorry revival is, uh, is to manifest something is to manifest something najua watu wana wameanza kupuuza makanisa wanasema ah si haja nende kanisani hakuna haja ni kama ni kitu imelala revival inapokuja Mungu anapotuvuvia tena kila kitu inaanza kuinuka kila kitu inaanza kuonekana uponyaji ambao umeanza kupotea unaanza kuonekana tena glory be to jesus i say glory be to jesus in this season hakuta kuwa na kufake miracles hakuta kuwa na kufake miracles because miracles zitakuwa kama popcorn Zita kuwa kama 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 popcorn miracles zitakuwa kama popcorn because revival is going to hit the world glory be to jesus and it is my prayer that may this revival come to you wherever you are may this revival locate you wherever you are may god revive your business may god revive your family may god revive your your, your marriage may god revive Revive your vision in the name of Jesus Christ. Kuna watu wako na maono nyingi lakini imelala. Inangojea revival. Kuna watu wako na ndoto kubwa zimelala. Kuna watu wamefanya mambo makubwa lakini yamelala. Kuna watu wako na ideas powerful ideas akishare na wewe idea unajiona milionea kesho idea peke yake idea ako na idea but haina revival because revival si kitu ya kuongea revival ni pumzi revival revival is the breath of god revival ni pumzi ya Mungu kara barabo handira bara rima rima na bahanda ya and remember this kwamba Mungu alipoumba binadamu alitengeneza kila kitu but ikawa ni sanamu haiwezi tembea ili subiri pumzi ya Mungu ili subiri pumzi ya Mungu kile ulichonacho kinasubiri pumzi ya Jehova kinasubiri pumzi ya Bwana nasema kile ulichonacho hakijangojea vitu nyingi already you have done your part i say you have done your part and now it's god's part that is remaining kana na na bora bahanda rika rabahanda ya nasema umefanya sehemu yako ile inasubiriwa sasa ni sehemu ya Mungu kupuliza pumzi ndani ya hiyo kitu haitembei kara barabo handa ya rima 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 rabo handa ya ndani ya hiyo kitu haimove Thank you Holy Ghost. Inasubiriwa pumzi ya Mungu. Mwanadamu alipotengenezwa, asingeliweza kumufa, asingeliweza kutembea, asingeliweza kufanya anything. But akona kila kitu minus breath. Akona everything. But hana pumzi. Glory be to Jesus. So revival ni pumzi ya Mungu ambayo anaipuliza ili vitu zilizokwama, vitu zilizokataa kutembea, vitu zilizokataa kumove zinapopokea pumzi ya Mungu, zinaanza kumove, zinaanza kutembea, zinaanza kufunction kara barabo handa. Mikono inaanza kufanya hivi, kichwa inatikisika, miguu inatikisika, anaanza kutembea. Maana pumzi ya Mungu imeingia. Rima rara bahanda ya. I pray tonight wherever you're watching me from may the breath of God come upon your life. Pumzi ya Mungu ingie kwa maisha yako. Ndani yoyo kitu aitembei tena. Pumzi ya Mungu iingie ndani in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Rima Rabo Shatiraba. So revival. Niku reveal. Oh, she is something. And to make something known. Wapen watu kwa tunajulikana. Hakuna mtu alijua tumaini. Hakuna yeyote alijua tumaini. Oh, Jesus. Miaka mingi iliopita. Ungetaja tumaini mahali. Wange kuuliza tumaini ni mandazi ama ni maini mekato kidogo kidogo. Because maini kikato dogo dogo inaito tumaini tudogo tudogo. So, unge ulizwa ni tumaini ni maini mekato dogo dogo. Ikawa tumaini ama nini unaongelea. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wengine wanisikia wakichokoza kwamba ukikosa tumaini tafuta tumatumbo. Oh yes, even ndio ingekuwa but now uwezi ukaongea hivyo. Ukimission tumaini. Oh, yule nisizame, yule nisizame because revival ni ku reveal something. Kitu ambayo haikuwa inaonekana revival is to make something known. Inaanza kujulikana. Watu wanaanza kuijua Oh, kumbe oh, unafika mahali before you introduce yourself. Watu wameanza kusema vitu. Do you do you do you? Hiyo ndio revival is to make something known. Karabora bahanda ya. And I prophesy as I stand here. Maria Bosha tira bahanda. Utajulikana. Dunia itakujua. Afrika itakujua. Kenya itakujua. Jamii yenu itakujua. Kule ulizaliwa watakujua. Chief atakujua Pastor atakujua Askof atakujua President atakujua Rebo rabahanda ya Rima rabosha raba Because revival is come upon your life Revival is coming upon your life Wherever you are In the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Holy Ghost. That is what is called revival. That is what I say, revival. Glory be to Jesus. Kara rabora bahanda ya. Hakuna batimbaya. Kama kuwa na kitu nzuri. Na ikakosa kuonekana. Hakuna kitu na umiza roho. Kama kuwa murembo. Na ukakosa mzewa kukuoa. Hakuna kitu mbaya. Kama kuwa na PhD. Na ukafanya kazi ya certificate. Hakuna kitu mbaya. Ya hoja na 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 hana Hakuna kitu mbaya Kama kuitu handsome Na hauna familia Hakuna kitu mbaya Kama kuitu murembo Na hauna boma Hakuna kitu mbaya Kama kuwa na matiti Na hawezi za mtoto Hakuna kitu mbaya Kama kuwa na elimu Na hauna kazi Hakuna kitu mbaya Kama kuwa na huduma Na hauna kitu Hakuna kitu mbaya Kama kuwa kuwa na kitu nzuri na haijulikani inaoma sana inaumiza sana and so many people are struggling because they have something good but it's not known it is not known wako na vitu nzuri lakini hazijulikani wako na huduma nzuri lakini haijulikani wako na biashara nzuri lakini haijulikani wako na nyimbo nzuri lakini hazijulikani ninakuombea mahali ulipo revival ikupate revival ikupate revival ikupate revival ikupate revival ikupate in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you Holy Ghost. So that what I will call revival. That what I say revival. So what is a revival? Revival is to manifest something. Glory be to Jesus. If you are writing, you can you can read Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse number 2. Oh Jesus. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse and 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 a verse number and a verse just wait i'm doing something here quickly in the name of jesus shana rarabu raba re katara bahanda just read somewhere habakkuk chapter 3 and the verse number 2 habakkuk chapter 3 chapter 3 and the verse number 2 the bible says god I have heard the news about you. Glory be to Jesus. This is Habakkuk prayer. I, I, I 
have heard the news about you. I am amazed at what you have done, Lord. Do great things once again in our time. Make the things happen again in our own days. Even when you are angry, remember to be kind. Glory be to Jesus. Habakkuk anamkumbusha Mungu kwamba kuna mambo tulisikia ulifanya. Kuna mambo tulisikia ulifanya in Acts chapter 2. Kuna mambo tulisikia ulifanya na sasa hayatendeki tena. So Habakkuk was telling God hayo mambo ambayo yamejificha haya mambo ambayo hayaonekani tena yawe manifested again glory be to Jesus I say glory be to Jesus in our days tunapiga mtu mateke ambaye amekuwa amepagawa na mapepo anapigwa makofi na mateke kwa sababu nguvu za Mungu zimepotea glory Glory be to Jesus. But very soon, the revival that is coming, hauta wekea mtu mwenye mapepo mikono. Ataona kivuli chako peke yake. Na mapepo itamuondokea. Utapanda kwenye matato. Utapanda kwenye gari. Na alie na pepo. Bila wewe kuomba. Pepo zinaanza kumtoka. Na hauja ongea. That is the revival we are talking about. I said that is the revival we are talking about utasikia nyimbo moja the whole night utashindwa kulala kwa sababu nyimbo hiyo italeta uvuvio ndani ya moyo wako glory be to jesus that is the revival we are talking about si nyimbo za ukatika viuno peke yake si nyimbo za ukatika shingo nyimbo za kupeleka mtu kwenye uwepo wa Mungu kwenye kilindi cha uwepo wa Jehovah hiyo ndio revival inakuja hiyo ndio revival Mungu analeta in the name of Jesus Christ So Habakkuk anamwambia Mungu please Nimesikia yale mambo umetenda Na sasa hayaonekani tena Zile ishara tulisikia miaka ile ya 80s miaka ya 90s yale maajabu tulisikia hayatendeki tena Habakkuk anamkumbusha Mungu kwamba achilia hizo vitu zianze kutendeka tena zianze kutendeka tena tulisikia kansa zinapona tulisikia HIV zinapona tulisikia vipofu wanaona tulisikia viwete wanatembea mimi nimekuwa kwa crusades za skofu kulola glory be to jesus nimeona viweto wakitembea kwa crusade nimeona vipofu wakiona kwenye crusade nilikuwa uhuru pak kwenye crusade nyingine niliona uponyaji usiokuwa wa kawaida glory be to jesus and now habakuki anamwambia mungu hizo vitu zitendeke tena glory be to jesus kila habari umesikia kwenye bible mungu alifanya you are qualified to receive that miracle chochote umesikia kwa bible mungu alifanya ni sehemu ya maisha yako ni revival tunahitaji glory be to jesus so what is a revival Thank you Holy Ghost. Number 2, what is it? I will not be able to finish this today. But just just take this it will help you in the name of Jesus. Number 2, what is a revival? Revival is to bring something to his originality. Glory be to Jesus. What is a revival? Revival is to bring something to his originality. Karabahanda ya. You will come to realize that in this season what wanaishi maisha bandia what wanaishi maisha fake si yale maisha yao wanaishi watu wanakula kile hawataki watu wanaishi mahali hawataki watu wanavaa kile hawataki watu wanafanya kazi ile hawataki so watu wanaishi kwenye maisha bandia 
Glory be to Jesus. So kazi ya revival ni kuturejesha kwenye uhalisia wetu, kuturejesha kwenye makusudio na mapenzi na ya, na, na plani ya Mungu kara bahanda ya. Oh, rabo rabahandia ni kuturejesha kwenye plani ya Mungu, ni kuturejesha kwenye njia za Mungu is to bring us to our originality. Kitambo ungesikia mtu anakuambia nimeokoka. Ungejintroduce mahali na useme my name is Tumaini and I am born again. Watu wangekuheshimu. Wangekuheshimu sana. Wangekuheshimu sana. Ungesikia ungepita mahali na useme I am a pastor. Unapewa una, una njia hata utaitishwa ID. Wewe ni pastor pita pita pita. Now. Hiyo kitu ilipotea. Ukisema pastor ni kama unafikiria umesema kitu nyingine. Hata afadhali ungesema, hata siku hizi mtu anasema tukiwa mahali kuna watu wengi usiniite pastor. Niite majina yangu, hapa niko biashara. Maana akisema pastor watu wanaanza kumuona kama anataka kwa con. <laughs> akisema pasta kuna vile watu wanastuka uh, si kustuka ya, ku, ya kuogopa ama kupenda pana ni kwanza kumshuku na kumsuspect glory be to jesus but revival inapokuja inaturejesha kwa originality yetu glory be to jesus when utasimama mahali na useme in the name of jesus ninasimamisha mvua isinyesha hapa mpaka crusade ishe mvua inasimama immediately glory be to jesus unaingia kwa hospitali unaingia kwa ward na unasema kuanzia leo ninatangaza uponyaji kwa hiyo ward wagonjo wanaanza kusimama kwa ward hiyo ndio kitu tunazungumzia revival na hiyo ndio kitu inarudi glory be to jesus I said glory be to Jesus. Allow me to read one scripture. Then I will end up from today but I trust God I will come back again to continue with this sermon. Glory be to Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. Let us read one verse then I will I will end up this today in the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Ghost. In in uh in in Psalm chapter 85 and verse number 6. Kitabu cha Zaburi Sura ya 85 mstari wa 6 Psalms chapter 85 and verse number 6 Thank you Holy Ghost The Bible says make us strong again make us strong again Please don't forget the word again again Bwana asifiwe sana Make us strong again and we your people will praise you glory be to jesus my this is the uh, gnta version glory be to jesus gnta version oh god make us strong again hallelujah so number three, what is revival revival is to strengthen us Revival ni kwa ajili ya kututia nguvu. Ah oh God. Revival ni kwa ajili ya kututia nguvu. Ni kwa ajili ya kutufanya strong. Ha rabo rabahanda ya. And listen, chochote ambacho sio strong kinaenda na upepo wote. Chochote ambacho sio strong kila upepo unaweza enda nayo chochote ambacho sio strong so zaburi anasema Mungu utufanye imara tena ili tuweze kukusifu tena utufanye imara ninaomba ukawe imara najua umedhoofika najua kuna vile maisha ya kupeleki vile ulitaka na unasikia ni kwamba umekuwa weak but i pray may god make you strong again may god make you strong again thank you holy ghost thank you father oh hallelujah 
May this verse be your portion. May this verse be your portion. Chochote utafanya hakita kuwa weak. Hata wakijaribu kukiangusha hakita anguka. Hata wakijaribu kukisukuma hakita sukumika. Hata wakikipangia njama hakuna mahali kinaenda. Maana kiko strong. Rabahanda ya rabahanda ya. The Bible says in Isaiah verse 54 and the verse number 2. The Bible says and remember the verse number 3. The Bible says make your pillars strong. Make your pillars strong. Glory be to Jesus. Chochote ambacho sio imara kuanguka ni rahisi. Chochote ambacho sio imara kuanguka ni rahisi. Bwana asifiwe sana. So Zaburi ametufungua macho kwamba tumwambie Mungu atufanye imara tena. Atufanye imara tena. Yes, tulikuwa imara before, but now we are no longer strong and we are asking God make us strong again. Make us strong again. Make us strong again. Make our families strong. Make our marriages strong. Make our relationships strong. Make our ministry strong. Make what you are doing strong. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. So thank you so much. I believe mahali popote upo umeguswa na ujumbe huo. Na kama Mungu amekugusa kwa namna moja ama nyingine, unaweza ukashia na marafiki. Glory be to Jesus. But my prayer, may God revive us again in the name of Jesus. Tonight tumeongea about three points and that there are other points that is remaining. Glory be to Jesus. Next time I, w- I will I will talk about how revival is birth and how how to birth revival. Glory be to Jesus. Let me make it in that way. How to birth revival. And the other one in how and um, how revival starts. Glory be to Jesus. Revival inaanzaje? Hayo ndio nitaongelea next time, but for tonight may God bless you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray. Father Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray. Kwa kila mshiriki wa Beatitude Church na yote ambaye ame watch program hii, uvuvio ukawe juu yake. Uvuvio ukaende juu yake. Kwamba kuanzia leo hii, kuanzia leo hii akaanze kuwa manifested. Kile watu hawakuona ndani yake kianze kuonekana zile vipawa zimekuwa ndani yao zikaanze kuonekana yale maono wamekaa nayo kwa miaka mingi hayo maono yaanze kuonekana na revival hii ikalete pumzi ndani yao chochote ambacho kimekataa kutembea kwa sababu hakina pumzi kikaanze kutembea in the name of Jesus and the father i pray again revival hii ikawarejesha watoto wako kwa originality yao hawataishi tena maisha bandia hawataishi maisha yale hawatake wataishi maisha yao original in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you Father. And the Father number three, revival hii ikaweze kusaidia watoto wako kupata nguvu tena. Watu wako weak, watu wamedhoofika. Kuna wale walikuwa naomba kitambo hawaombi tena. Wengine walikuwa naabudu hawaabudu tena. Wengine walikuwa wanatoa hawatoi tena. Wengine walikuwa waubiri wazuri hawaubiri tena. Nguvu ziliwaishia. Ninaomba Bwana katika ibada hii, revival hii ikawatie nguvu nguvu zikaingie ndani yao nguvu ziingie ndani ya kila mtu in the name of Jesus father i return back the glory to you in the name of Jesus i pray amen and may god bless you wherever you are have a blessed night in Jesus name amen